This is Tim with Digital Survival. Thanks for joining me today for part two of my Survival Fountain of Youth series. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. And last time we made a bed. Let's get started. New goal, preparing for the journey. Build a campfire. Campfire. That be under food? Oh, wait a second. This is all part of the same list. Just hitting this as you scroll down. I get it now. Machines. This uh, campfire is a machine. All right, I need five short sticks either way and either zero or three rocks. All right, so let's, we just need some more short sticks before we can do this. All right, I can run over those rocks. Some games, some games would stop you, make you jump. Get over rocks that big. All right, build a campfire. In the buildings. Place it. Place it. Interact with it. Place resources. Take half an hour to build. A pile of sticks. Interact again. Select the fuel. I have no fuel. Oh, I have long sticks. I'm not. I don't think I'm burning my long sticks. And I don't have a fire starter. Craft spindle fire starter. Spindle fire starter. I need more sticks. I'll find some sticks. Hold shift add five times. Restored in 11 days, restored in 23 days. So I already stripped that puppy. This one should be good. And I thought there was a stick on the ground here. No? about this one? So this is interesting. These trees now, they will grow back the pieces I need, but it takes days and days. Alright, let's see if we can craft that. Air starter now. Craft it. 40 minutes to build that. Put food on campfire. Let's head back to our campfire and cook us up some food. Interact. Current fuel is three and a half hours. Let's see. 42 minutes of work to get that started. Alright, we're gonna roast a crab. Let's roast another crab. I'm hungry. What about... Meat, steam, bandage, steam leaf bandage, mapping charcoal. Maybe that's important. And this is all right there. It's all all the things I know how to do. That stuff I got out of the stuff I got out of the shells. Not usable for this. Whoa. Sorry. Inventory please. Inventory. The tab, not I. My bad. Wait, I've got another raw crab. Forgot about that. Okay, let's eat this. Where we eat this? Need another one. So do I have to go to crafting to get the mollusk out of the? Sh All right, so now I should have multiple mollusks that I can't cook. So if there's a blueprint related to it, I can have to go to blueprints. But this one has no blueprints. I wonder what disassemble does. Some resources may be lost in disassembly. I will receive the following item. Rotten food. No. 
Let's go blueprints. Let's craft that. Five minutes to open the coconut. Back to inventory. And drink the coconut. Alright. Does it have any blueprints related to it? Ripen to open coconut. Let's do that. Inventory. And now we have ripened open coconut. It will give us some food and a little bit of water. Now, if I remember right, coconut's a diuretic, and if you eat too much of it, you'll end up losing water. So, I'm hoping that's not one of the game mechanics. Some for, oh, that I didn't have to take time to do it. That's nice. All right, I might, I'm overburdened. You can see the heavy icon up in the top left. Oh, this is still going. Steamed leaf bandage. Just not enough fuel to finish crafting. The process is 20 minutes. How much fuel do I have left on this? Was it out? Did it just go out? All right. All right. Ignite. Ignite again. Failed to ignite. I'm really not very good at this. 14 minutes. And it worked. And now it's dark. I, you know, part of me wants to sit down and do the math on some of these timed actions. Interact. Craft it. Craft it again. Alright, that's 40 minutes of steaming bandages in which I had to sit by the fire and make sure they didn't burn, I guess. Is there a place where I can tell how much how much the fire has left in it? I'm not going to rust that crab right now. I could use the food. What do you want? Find Liana. Who's Liana? She's over there. Okay. Liana, we're coming for you. In a friendly way. In a, we're just trying to accomplish some game goals way. Not, nothing creepy. And these are my three strip trees, right? Resources are being restored. It'll actually tell me down the... Pterodon? Is that the name of the tree? Is Pterodon? Sounds like a flying dinosaur. Okay, I gotta see what this tree's called over here. This tree is called Decoration. Oh, wait. Mushroom Tinder. Oh, right there. Mushroom Tinder. I'll take that. Okay, so those trees are spawn points for a thing. Tobacco. I'm not grabbing any tobacco right now, though I'm pretty sure that's med medicinal. One per. I'm hearing the rocks falling and I don't like it. Go to Liana. We're coming. And I know what this is from. Place la I can just place a ladder? It's like I have to have a rope to place a ladder. Do that later. Hey, Liana. Is that wrap here select all I can get 11 vines take 55 minutes am I going to be attacked while I'm doing this no don't like those noises oh dude <laughs> oh my gosh thought I died all right, I've gained a disease status as a result of external influences. There are several types of disease, sunburn, flu, wounds, fever, food poisoning, malaria, overheating, and just regular poisoning. Medicine helps prevent disease and keep it from progressing. Sleep and some types of food can also help. Keep an eye on your statuses in the top left corner of the screen to avoid getting serious illnesses. So I'm poisoned. I'm poisoned again. 
A little teeny scorpion coming up and stabbing a guy in the foot. Thanks, dude. Alright, craftily on a rope. Oh, I need it for this right here, so... Let's not run away yet. Crafting... Other... Other items. 30 minutes to make a rope. And climb the cartographer tree, which we're going to do by that. And magic. Just walk into it. Okay. All right. Mapping to find resources. Use mapping to find resources you need for crafting. Mapping will also help you find unique locations, native chronicles, and special objects like potions, notes, etc. You can map anywhere you want, but mapping from higher grounds would cover, will cover, covers more territories. Use cartographer trees, mountains, hills, and build cartographer towers. I like that I can build something like this. That looks like feathers. What do I got in here? Nine eggs, five feathers some worms. Let's just take the feathers for now. Okay. And map. Start the mapping process to find resources. Get space to do mapping. Find me doesn't do anything. Okay, I'm in mapping. Mapping range 231. Process duration an hour and 10 minutes. Considering how long it takes me to put leaves on the ground, I think that's actually pretty good. Hour and ten. We're in altitude seventy-seven. Mapping charcoal. Start. All right. Short-eared dog. That's. That sounds bad. Chamomile, long stick, sage, chicken, stone. Own wild chicken crabs on the west, chickens on the south, dogs in the middle. Boar, boar does not sound like something I want to go deal with right now. A gecko, date palm, coconut palm. So I think I've been spending most of my time on that west beach anyway. I think I actually noticed that tobacco plant. So south works too. Alright, do I... It's too dark, I should wait for morning. So I can't do any more mapping right now because it's too dark. My tutorial complete. Explore the world of my own. New goal, find the survivors. I hope at least one survived. I'm gonna worry about those eggs another time. Oh golly, I feel like I'm about to, you know what? I just grab one egg. One egg, one worm, just for the research. Harvest. All right, let's scoot out of here. Boy, this is nerve-wracking. I can sprint down. It's dark. Oh, call! I'm not off the thing yet. Still on it. Now I'm off. Okay. I'm hearing what sounds like a snake. I don't like that sound. Already poisoned once. And I've got a line through my eyeball. I assume that means I can't see much. Let's see. Am I at am I near death right now? Slight overload, dark minor poisoning near death I had a near death experience 
It's reflected in my health stat permanently. The health penalty increases each time I faint. Only living water from the fountain of youth can help reduce this health penalty. What did I just... What did I have happen? Was that on the boat? I don't know when that near-death experience happened. So I'm guessing my energy level thing is replenished with overnight rest. What do I have that I could use? I have one raw crab. I have mushroom tender. Some wide leaves. I don't have much in the way of food. I think I need to hit the beach and get some food and maybe get some more wood. 21% chance of injury. This will work on my stone axe. And we're going to give it a try with the stone axe. Oh, my... It's so badly broken already, I can't do it. So I'm trying to repair. Hit R to repair. Twenty-one percent chance of injury, and I lose some of my max durability on it. Now we're going to try this with my stone axe. Dismantle. Added three small sticks. So I'm wet, and I've got a wet meter. Can I pull this apart? Interact. I can sleep in the bed. I can try and upgrade the bed. With sticks. I can't pick it up. I want to pick these leaves up and take them. Can't do that. Oh, what a miserable day. Let's those. So we're looking for the grotto, which is a cave, which generally speaking is a place out of the rain. So here's hoping. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm way too heavy. Why? What do I need to get rid of? This is nothing. I am carrying almost nothing here. Okay, I can drop my rotten food. And drop those. And eat this, I guess. The weather affects your health. You've gained a new status that affects your condition. Wet and cold leads to flu. Sun leads to sunburn. I just leave it there. Still overweight. I'm a big baby. Looking for a grotto. What is this? A broken rink? Broken rain water collector. Rather than a rain dirt collector or a rain meat collector. Oh, change. I can move. I can disassemble. What if I move the broken rain collector to right here? Can't repair it, though. Oh, I can't move. It's too heavy. I picked up leaves. Oh my gosh. Can I build a bed to lighten my load here? Down to buildings. Buildings. Place E. Then interact. Place resources. Build. I can move again, yay. Oops.
Ice fire. Alright, we're gonna go with the mushroom tender. Fire starter. Another. Kill at least minus 18, minus 24. We have another one? Tree bark, minus 6. What does that mean? Is this the one that works the fastest? Failed to ignite. Now it's minus nine minutes. All right. So we are going to check and see what other recipes we have now crafting. Got fried eggs. We got something with the scorpions. Process scorpion venom. Okay, so I can get scorpion venom after the scorpion. I can't actually eat the scorpions, which I was kind of hoping for. Make a bow spindle at some point. Alright, let's let's fry up an egg. Okay, what do I need here? Oh, I need to be in the campfire. Okay. Craft that. This is a campfire with stones. A campfire with stones. Right, egg. What? I need two eggs to fry an egg. Is that what you're telling me up here? I have one egg and I have to have two. Can't fry an egg all by itself. That'd be silly. There it is. Oh god, I was wondering. So I can I can add fuel while the fire is going by getting out of the crafting menu, going to the fire menu. Okay, let's extinguish this. Save some of that fuel for later. <sighs> Shiny. All right, let's take a look at this. Alright, okay. Approximate location of two water sources. So these are the water sources. North and south east-ish. The grotto and then the thing. So I've got to travel and it looks like one of those water sources has bad things around it. Take the letter. Okay. Was not destined to complete a map of the local seas, but may come in handy to find the place where the Santiago sank not far from the island. Perhaps there is still something useful there. I was told when I jumped out the window that I wouldn't be able to go back. Alright, now I can interact with it. Just, that's what it looks like. Clear even without interacting. Living water. note about it store my health wow that letter was a quick time video event the shipwreck sea currents brought him to this same island he started to act quickly and decisively so this sounds like from the wording that I'm actually the one saying this began to explore the island Alright, to anyone that reads this, uh, you can read it on pause. Three, two, one. Apparently there's an ancient observatory at the top of a mountain. So that's a pile of scrap. And this, it's actual coconut. Alright, so I can just drop stuff on the ground. So I've got sun 100% and I think that's the coat. The navy coat is 100% protection from the sun and the wind. 25 from rain, 100% from cold. 15 armor, decrease wound chance, decrease poison chance. This is a good deal here. What does it take to repair it? Pendant thread and a piece of leather. It will lower its max durability. And takes seven and a half hours to fix. Holy cow. No wonder they hired people to do that stuff for them. I can move again. Piece of 
Toba got in this. That, that would give me a. That would give me some new recipes or something. I don't know. Alright, reach the location near the bay is my next thingamajigger to do. I disassemble it. What is it going to do? And give me big branches and rope. Really, I really want to be able to fix this somehow. Alright, well, I think that's going to be it for tonight. After I grab this green coconut and that brown coconut, because that's food. Looks like the next thing I need to be doing, the next thing I feel like I need to be doing is getting my food and water up, which means going to the water source and seeing what's there and figuring out how to carry it. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and or share. It helps me keep doing this thing that I love. Thanks, and see you soon.